What's going on? Corey Lennox here for Piano with Corey. Today I'm going to show you why probably everything you think about practice is wrong, and I'm going to show you the right way to do it. Now I want to kick this off by asking you a question. Which is better, practicing for 30 minutes a day for four days, or practicing for two hours a day, one day? The answer, coming up. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe for more awesome piano videos like this. There is a huge, huge misconception with how long you need to practice piano. Now here's the basic gist of it. Most people think you want to practice for like an hour or maybe a few hours, right? You want to just sit down and put this large chunk of time into playing. Well the problem is that is probably the worst way to actually practice piano. There have been studies done that found our brain checks out after a certain amount of time. Once we start to get the hang of something, or even once we start losing interest or start getting bored, our brain is gonna check out. And on top of that, the other thing is that researchers found we learn best when we are revisiting an activity. So you know that feeling of leaving something and coming back to it later and thinking, what was I doing? Or you know, how did this song go? That's where your brain is learning the best because you're refining that neural pathway and you're ingraining it into your mind. Okay, so when we combine everything together, it actually really explains the experience that a lot of people have practicing. They say, I sat down for like three hours, but then the next day I forgot so much of how to do it. You know, why can I forget after I spent three hours working on it? Well, the reason is because you didn't revisit it. You sat there, you did it for three hours or two hours, your brain checked out maybe 20 to 30 minutes in, and then you never came back to it, so you lost it. So what I encourage you to do to take advantage of all this new science that's come out is to practice for no longer than 10 or 20 minutes on one thing. Now, if you wanna have an hour-long practice session, that's fine, but change it up, right? Or maybe take a break halfway through. You want to make sure you're keeping your mind engaged. So let's say you work on piece A for 10 minutes, you work on piece B for 10 minutes, this is the kind of practice schedule that's gonna rocket you so much quicker to success. Not sitting there for hours and hours and hours slaving away. And this is why I say to my students, I would rather have you practice for 20 minutes a day. Just 20 minutes, if you can commit to that, that's gonna take you so much further than thinking you have to sit down for an hour or two hours and just not actually following through. Because mentally, that's so much more of a commitment that it scares us and we just don't practice at all. Whereas if you practice for 10 or 20 minutes a day, you've revisited that song six or seven times over the week. And that's gonna help keep it so much more fresh and help you take it so much further than sitting down for one chunk, not making that much progress, and then forgetting it. And last thing I'll leave you with today is sort of a way to tell when you need to move on. So at a certain point, it is going to get worse. You're gonna start getting frustrated or the song is just gonna start falling apart. There's always gonna be this certain point where it backtracks. If you get to that point, you've definitely gone too far and you need a break. You need to walk away. Do that, go get a snack, go get a go-gurt. I don't know why I picked go-gurt of all the snacks, but go take a break and when you come back, nine times out of 10, it's going to be so much better than where you left off. Now that said, the more practice you can get in during a day, the better. Just make sure it's sectioned off into chunks. So if you can do like 30 minutes four times a day, that would equal up to two hours of practice time and that would be incredible. Obviously that's better than just doing the one 30 minute session a day. But I don't want you to think you have to practice for hours and hours every day. Most people, their problem is just that they don't really practice at all or they're not consistent. So if you can just play 20, 30 minutes a day and be consistent about that, you're gonna be amazed at how far it takes you. So, hope you loved this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a comment below, let me know what you thought, and until next time, keep it locked in here on Piano with Corey. Piano on.